How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Transformers review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the two different reissue versions of TwinCast. Now, the original release came out in 1987. TwinCast was also packaged with Steeljaw back then. And if you're familiar with that release, you know that it's kind of hard to find on the secondary market, but it actually has a hefty price tag on it um, for some reason. Not really sure why. It's Maybe it's because it was released at the tail end of Headmasters. I know Sound Blaster is kind of expensive, and the W cassettes that were released at the tail end are really expensive, but I'm not sure why as far as it's still being uh, priced at that much, at that price point, um, just because we have two reissues here. But we're going to be taking a look at the reissues here. The, the one on the left here is the eHobby version. The one on the right is the Encore edition. There are differences between the two besides just having different cassette tapes there. And... If you're looking at getting a twin cast, hopefully by the end of the video, you'll kind of um, know which one that you would prefer to have and such. So, all right, let's take a look at the eHobby version first. And the eHobby version came out in 2006. And as you can see, he's packaged in a Decepticon box, which is kind of odd. But this character right here is actually a Decepticon sleeper agent and is actually a female character too called Flipsides. And so I guess the whole packaging is actually to accommodate her there. But if that was the case, I really do wish that eHobby would have changed the picture card around and used hers instead of TwinCast. Kind of also makes the fact it makes it look like TwinCast is actually the accessory piece to her. But um, packaging though, kind of plain. It's what we're used to with eHobby, but it works. Um, you get the nice collector's edition. Destron down there. You get a lot of English, which is what we're used to also. On the back, you get the same G1 battle scene that we've seen. We get the E-Hobby down there, and that's about it. All right. The Encore box, I really do love. Um, I love the fact that you get an actual art pick on the box instead of a card. It is the exact same art pick that you got with the original release of TwinCast. And as you can see here with the card, it's the same one too. You do get two new characters. You get Stripes here and Night Stalker, which are just redecos of Steeljaw and Ravage. Um, but I, I really do like those characters. Number 22 in the Encore line. You get the nice transformation sequence up top. On the bottom and on the sides, you get the characters in both modes. And on the back here, you get a nice Headmaster's battle scene, which is where the character is actually from. I'm not going to go too much into the history of the character just because um, it's a really cool character check out the Japanese headmaster series but I get a lot of flack for him actually um, spoiling it for people so even though it's 20 plus years old but take a look at it it's really cool all right let's take a look at the figures now all right now that I got them out of the packaging on the left again is the eHobby version and on the right is the Encore edition and we'll take a look at the cassettes here in just a second but there are some differences between the two. Again, the eHobby is going for that toy accuracy look where the Encore Edition is going for that cartoon accuracy. Um, the stickers for the eHobby are pre-applied, whereas the Encore, they're actually um, tampographed on. The shade of blue is just a tad bit lighter on the eHobby. Um, can't really see it. I mean, you have to have them in hand. It's, it's very slight. But... A couple of other differences that are um, pretty obvious are the uh, tape deck door. The eHobby version has this kind of molded in detail right there where you don't have that on the Encore. You just have this smooth Autobot symbol tampoed on. You do have this red tampo right there where it's omitted on the eHobby. And other than that, um, the back is exactly the same. You got the same machine stamp. You got Hasbro 1984 with Takara. You got the same thing on this version. Uh, the tape decks work. They were remolded from Blaster to house two cassettes, just like Soundwave to Sound Blaster. Now, the windows were changed from clear to this red translucent plastic that's part of this another gimmick with the cassettes, so we'll get into that here in a second. But um, let's bring in flip sides from the e-hobby set now flip sides is a really cool character uh, she's a decepticon sleeper agent 
which I really do kind of like. I don't even think she knows that she's a sleeper agent. Um, I'm not sure too much on that, but I, I do like the fact that she, we get more female characters, or we got another female character. But as far as the detail of the cassette, um, this is the Rewind Eject Mold. This whole um, decal here is just a sticker, unfortunately. Flip it to the other side. Um, and she is a Decepticon. So you um, get a rub sign to work there. So, But now, the gimmick with the tape deck door here, bring Twinkcast back in, is that since this was part of the, or the, the Japanese Headmaster series where... Megazeric and Fortress Maximus were um, pretty much invincible characters needing to find some means of stopping them. They have these little stickers on the, on the cassettes. And for flip side, she has both of them, which is really cool. So on this side, you have Scorponok. And on this side, you have Fortress Maximus. And to find out the weak point of each one, you just stick the cassette in. And the, the window door here. Um, actually acts as a decoder and you can see for Scorponok his weakness is at his what, right claw there and then for Fortress his weakness is on his left ankle or so so I thought that was a nice kind of added gimmick and such again you got the same thing with Sound Blaster 2 and it was only for the Takara based cassettes. To transform flip sides, simple. You extend out the bottom, rotate them around, they'll become her legs. Again, it's the rewind eject mold, so I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with it. To get the head out, just extend out the shoulder bits, rotate them around, and then extend them down, and then unfold her hands. And you have her transformed. Nice coloring. I do like it. Kind of, I don't know, purplish mauve color. I don't know. With the white. Looks nice. And then her weapons are exactly the same, again, as Rewind. And Eject and all of those other ones that are released. But this time they are a nice kind of pinkish chrome. And you can plug them in either on the sides like so. Or you can plug them in on the inside to kind of kind of represent like a backpack like she's housing them on her back or something so not too bad they look okay now as far as articulation you can rotate the arm around 360 degrees at the shoulder uh bicep swivel hindered by the back piece because i put the gun right there but um you can move the legs back not forward you can swivel at the thigh or right at the hip I guess and that's about it not too bad quick comparisons with some other sets again there's rewind and then you got eject and then you got like Rosanna which now rewind and eject can go on a double date if they wanted to um, then you got Shattered Glass, Solar Bot, and so there you go. All right, get them out of the way and bring in the two cassettes from the Encore series, Stripes and Night Stalker. And I really do like these characters. Uh, they are just redecos of the Ravage mold and the Steel Jaw mold, but I, I I do like the um the the paint apps the the change in them. So for Stripes, I'm not going to go over the sticker again because it's the exact same sticker that you get with um, the Autobots. Just taking a look at the um, Megazeric Scorponok uh, weakness point there. But you get the nice die cast here on the legs. You do have the tampoed on decal, which is really nice. Get the um, rub sign, which... I'm not going to see here doing it, but we know it's an Autobot. But to transform stripes, really simple. Just extend out the top portion, which back section will become the tail. There's the head. Rotate the legs around. Articulation's all part of the transformation, so I'm not going to really go over too much. I mean, you can pose them. 
but it's kind of hard to get them to stand. But I do like the stripes here. Um, those are really nice added touch. I mean, obviously his name's Stripes, so you got to make him look like that. But it does look nice. It does pop. Now his weapons are these nice gold exact versions of what came with Steel Jaw. Which I thought was kind of cool because you got the mold of Steel Jaw here with Night Stalker and you got the weapons that came with Night Stalker, but they actually come with their four stripes, who is part of the rab who is the Ravage mold. Transform Night Stalker really quickly. Again, it's just kind of the same as stripes. You're gonna rotate the legs down. You do have the nice die cast again, and this is all tampoed on. Same sticker for the weakness for Scorponok and there is Night Stalker. He's a little bit more of a pain to stand, though. He wants to lean to one side. His weapons are just carbon copies of what came with Ravage. And again, like I mentioned with Stripes, it's kind of cool. I mean, you they're just reversed. Instead of him, you would think that these weapons would go with the Stripes, but... But there we go. Not look too bad. Quick comparisons. Here's Steel Jaw. And then with Stripes. Here's, um, oh, I forgot his name. It's from the Cobalt Century E Hobby exclusive um, Howler or something like that. I'm, I don't know. The original mold, Ravage. And then we have lit from the kiss player series and i love the fact that they all utilize the ravage weapons except for stripes so that's pretty cool all right bring back twin all right to transform twin cast is the exact same transformation as blaster so just unhook the top portion there fold the sides around clip into place Pull that up rotate his arms around flip up his head extend out his arms and then extend out his hands rotate them around and we'll Twin cast is all transformed. And again, this is the eHobby version, so I'll do a comparison really quickly here. But as far as articulation, arms can rotate around 360 degrees. He does have that wrist swivel. That was part of the transformation. Head can rotate around 360 degrees. Can look up. No waist swivel. Nothing in the legs to go forward or back. You do have the ability, I guess, if you want to give him a super kick. So... There's that. Other than that, that's that is it. And his gun, exact copy of what came with Blaster. It's just instead of black, it is now red. And what I was mentioning with the original release on the left arm, there would be an Autobot symbol, which I believe is just a sticker. So, and this one does not have it. All right, bring in the. Encore edition and one big difference as you can see is the face we have a lot more paint apps on this guy we have the gold on the face the um, eyes are more of a um, lighter blue where the e hobby is just silver and the eyes are just yellow there you can see the sh the uh, stickers on or the decals on the shoulders are different even to these stickers, this being more white, this is more of a, a foil reflective look there. Even to the um, stickers on the bottom of it by the feet are different. And other than that, that's, that is it for differences as far as in robot mode. So, all right. Let's take a look at some compare. Let's take a quick look at some comparisons. First up, there's Blaster. 
and same mold again. Differences in stickers. The only other difference would be that the eject off play or the tuning on and off down here are actually painted um, black so they kind of pop out a little bit more. You don't have that on the twin cast. It's not like it's a deal breaker. It would have been nice if they did that, but it's all good. And next here is the Shattered Glass Blaster, which really love the character. Um, probably going to do a review of the Shattered Glass set um, probably in the near future, but as you can see, he utilizes the uh, twin cast mold, more specifically the Encore. Here is twin cast's Nemesis Sound Blaster. They don't really scale up nicely with each other, but I do love the paint scheme on him. But if you happen to have the Masterpiece, they scale up really nicely with each other. And when we finally, hopefully, get that Masterpiece Blaster slash Twin Cast, it's probably going to be about the same size as this G1 counterpart, which is kind of funny. It'll be the first time a Masterpiece will be about the, sa will be about the same size as its G1 counterpart. So that's, that's kind of cool, but not bad. All right. Final thoughts on this guy. Which set would I pick if I was looking at getting a twin cast? I would probably pick the Encore version. Just because it's easier to find. Uh, most e-tailers still have it. It's not that expensive. You get two cassettes instead of one. So you can actually utilize the, you know, the really the newly remolded chest feature there, which is cool. You also get that more show accurate paint scheme on top of the fact that I, I I like the box. I'm a box fan, so the box is really cool. It's got more of a nostalgic, old school look. Nothing wrong with the e-hobby version. If you like the toy accuracy look, then you'll be going with this one, but it is more limited. I do like the flip sides character. And again, if you're like me, you want all the cassettes, so most likely you'll probably end up picking up both sets. Um, but, and, you know, there is the original out there too. So if you want to um, spend the cash on it, uh, that's cool also. But just be careful. Most likely you're going to get a used one. And you never know if the seller switched out, you know, the twin cast for one of these. Just uh, be aware of that. And it also comes with Steel Jaw, which should have that Scorponok sticker on him. So I would really want to look at pictures to make sure that it it, it should look like this one <laughs> so but with that autobot symbol on the back left arm but that's it for uh, the reissued look at twin cast thanks everyone for watching really do appreciate it. stay tuned for more take care and i will talk to everyone later bye